this cathedral has been a place of Christian worship and prayer for well over a thousand years. Now it's a meeting place for Christians from across the city and the county and beyond who come here for great celebrations, for acts of commitment and Christian service. And now, for the first time in its history, in partnership with the diocese, the cathedral opens a new centre of hospitality, mission and outreach here at St Martin's House. This year, two extraordinary gifts, one at Lawnd Abbey in the Leicestershire countryside and one at the heart of the city, offer an opportunity for us all to connect prayer and action, contemplation and service, reflection and engagement. They are two beats of the same heart, the lifeblood of the body of Christ. There are 320 churches with 18,000 regular members, with 200 dedicated clergy, and from cradle to grave for praise and worship in individual and shared sorrow, and in community celebration for people with and without faith. The church is here for everyone. There is prayer and there is action, two beats of the same heart. From baptism and through childhood, the church is here to nurture and support children and their families. Many churches host playgroups like this one in Market Harbour, where 50 children each week dance, sing, hear stories and play, supported by members of the congregation in different ways. And in Loughborough, where volunteers run this kids' club every weekend. With 98 schools and one academy, the church reaches out to over 20,000 families directly through education and local churches have projects such as Open the Book, which brings their members in to help with assemblies and reading practice. Young People for Life supports and trains church youth workers to engage with young people in their own local situation. Passion is the name of one such project, where in Shepshed, a former shop has been converted into a youth centre. At our universities, chaplains are on hand to help students often a long way from home for the first time, with all aspects of their life. And in confirmation, young and old alike take a step of faith to become full and lifelong members of the church. Throughout our life, the church is here, providing prayer and action. In good times, from weddings where couples make promises before God, their family and friends, to community events, whether it's teddy bears parachuting from a church tower, or a church and community fete, or aerobics in a church hall, or a home group prayer and Bible study meeting, or even a beautiful springtime service held in the middle of a bluebell wood with a huge crowd and a silver band. The church is here, prayer and action, two beats of the same heart. In difficult times, there are specialist clergy and chaplains who work with groups in particular need. In our hospitals and at Loris, Leicester's Hospice, chaplains offer spiritual care for the sick and terminally ill and support the families and staff who care for them. We have chaplains in our prisons bringing hope, seeing lives being transformed and creating a belief that life is worth living. And our workplace chaplain offers a friendly face to talk to without fear about the stresses of work. In homes for the elderly across Leicestershire, our clergy hold services designed for the residents. And as we make our final journey, clergy throughout the diocese meet, grieve with and encourage the bereaved. Funerals in churches and crematoria are a daily occurrence. The church also works for and with the poor, the needy and the vulnerable in society. Fair Share is a scheme run by Christians both locally and nationwide which hands out unused and unwanted food to those who haven't got enough. The Welcome Project gives food and clothing to people new to the city, often those seeking asylum and also to the homeless. And Triangle is a project for the homeless of Leicester, providing food, clothing and a place to sleep every Friday night. Prayer and Action and for all people everywhere. Street passes are a group of volunteers drawn from many Christian churches 
dedicate their time to late-night town and city revellers. They talk together, calm difficult situations, and hand out flip-flops to girls with sore feet. The interfaith work of the diocese is focused on the St Philip's Centre for Study and Engagement, helping churches, professional and community groups, including the police, and all those of other faiths and cultures, to know and understand each other better. And our relationships even extend around the world, and we have special friendships with the church in India and Tanzania. Bishop Christopher is currently in Africa. Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Those words are written on the Grand Hall of St. Martin's House and, more importantly, on the hearts of every Christian everywhere. Here at the altar in the cathedral, we give thanks for that gift of life given in Jesus Christ. And we pray that that gift of abundant life may be known by all who enter St. Martin's house in the days ahead. So let the thanksgivings begin.